three minute round. Fusion rules action. Tag and fight. Good shot, I told you. Good sharp eyes, Katuk. Good puncher. Very good with the straight punches. Nice low kick. He has to be careful he doesn't drop his hands when he low kicks. Yeah. That's how he got caught in the very beginning. Every time Matt Rakan goes back and drops his hands, and that is not a good idea with Katuk. Guards too low from Matt Rakan. It really is. There you go. Left up in the right hand. Just tries that. Hard leg kicks going in from both boxers. Good knee on the inside as well. During his low kicks. His low kick's nice and hard and it's landing, but he's paying for it. And that's the problem. Yeah, needs to put some hands up before it. Put that blood on the side of his head as well. Then he's got a little cut. Nice, accurate shot set. Took them well, Rakong, but no eye from the rise in the wall already. Yeah, it's not looking good so far. The top looks a weight below Rakong, doesn't he? Very slight. Yeah, a little bit taller, but a lot more slight. I know, yeah. I know where you're coming from. Hard knee from the, to the side of the body from Rakong. Moving to the side, very slick. Big legs of the Thai boy. He's just, a, he's just a little bit too slow, Rakong. After he throws, he just stands there a little bit too long and he gets caught. Yeah, he admires his own work, doesn't he? That's what I've thought when I've seen him. Good combination, that was nice from Katuk. Definitely agree with him. across the face of Rafongas. The killer comes forward. Throwing his shots. Sharp inside kick, nice knee again. Attempt from Katuk. It's all Katuk this round though, isn't it, Andrew? Yes. Shots from Rakong. Reaching with their oh. nice shots. Dips the legs of Rakong there. A nice right knee goes in from the turn. He stands still. When he starts to get hit, he stays still. He doesn't take any kind of evasive measures. That means he gets hit with two or three instead of just one. That's, you don't want to do that for yeah, too long. Yeah, he kind of stiffens, doesn't he? Yeah. So, as you come to the last 20 seconds of this first round, the combination's got that good body punch that was from Katuk as well. Certainly was. I could, you could tell it hurt him. He bent over for that slight half a second, but you could see it definitely hurt. Nearly half of his fights have come by knockout as well. Seven KOs and his 16 fights. He's got a dig on him. End of the first round and a really good yeah. round there from Katuk Andrew. When he starts getting landed on, he has to move. He can't stay stiff like that. It just makes him a target. He looks like he's tightened up his guard for this round, though. He looks a lot tighter. Nice. Going on the inside, and almost like a sweep from Katuk, walking in with the knee. Very often you'll see a, a European fighter knee with a tie, but you see Alexis use a kickboxing move instead of Muay Thai, which probably comes from his homeland. And the armbands came in with the Mongol. Anyway, nevertheless, hard leg kick there from Rakong. He tries to turn it over, does he? He seems to like kick up straight instead of turning his shin over, getting his hip in on this. I think Rakong's corner may have said, look, go back to the game plan, tighten up your guard, you're getting caught, keep working the low kick, because he's tightened up his guard, he's a lot tighter, he's coming forward, and he's still trying to boot the low kick in, so they haven't given up on the game plan yet, didn't quite work out the first round, but they're going to have another go at it. Combination's going in, just some scoring with the judges here, but Kong, like I said, he just, one shot at a time is not enough, racking up the points, took trying to find his opening so he can cause more damage, but he's steadily pecking away, isn't he, at Rakong? In this round than he was in the last round, he's trying to get a little bit closer, maybe he doesn't get hit with the long punches, but... Also, he looks uncertain of everything he throws, does not Rakong? When he throws something, he just looks uncertain when he throws it. And has a good knee from Kutuk, they're starting to do damage, that left knee especially through the middle to the solar plexus. Good shot over the top, behind the air, swift uppercut from 
and Katut needs to throw combinations now, not let Rakong off. Big overhand shot from Rakong. Sneak right hand there as well from Katut. Good shot. Just missing overhand right from Rakong. Shows he's still in it. Nice hook to the body, but a good right hand from from Kutuk. But so Rakong, I apologise, but it seems to me that Kutuk, that left knee is really causing big problems on Rakong, and he looks tired now, Andrew. Yeah, he's starting to back up again as well. He's yeah. it around, he's coming forward, and you know, you can see the game plan. And he did land three or four good low kicks by simply just pressuring forward, but now he's starting to get a little bit tired. Yeah, backing up, he's on the end of the punches and again. The writing's on the wall. If he's the writing on the wall, he is really starting to look tired. As we're going to the last 15 seconds of this second round. It's all been again in Katuk. Yeah, he's on the end of the punches, and he can't land the low kick out there as well because he's just going to hurt his foot on the knee. He's a bit too far away. Punching power so <laughs> Took. He's ready for business as we go into round three. Here, kickboxing talent, sharp hands from Rakong. He does start the round well, but seems to taper off. Right hand left hook, he's off. wobbled there. He did indeed. And as we said, it's not just the single shots, it's the right hand and the left hook. As soon as he gets hit, he stiffens up, he takes two or three. Sharp performances, though, hasn't it, from Engin Katuk? Nice performance, good accuracy, nice right hand. Yeah. Likeable style, hasn't he, uh, Engin Katuk? As combinations again. And there's the exchange. There's nothing wrong with the heart of the Thai boy, Matt Rakong. Still trying to throw his bombs in, but he hasn't got the engine. The versatility. Hengi Katsuk. Hard body kick there from Rakong, which is third. That nice right hand on the left. It's always something better comes back from Katsuk, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, as soon as Rakong throws, Katsuk throws three or four. It's good in the judge's eyes, and it's also demotivating for your opponent. You throw one, and it lands, and you get hit with four. You're going to stop throwing, so... Did a very good job here psychologically and in the judges' eyes, Katuk. That's a good shot, that really was a yeah, nice he's shot. He's in trouble now, he's in, he's trouble in now. serious trouble. A standing eight count as he stumbles back to his corner. He should be actually be in a neutral corner, Andrew. And the referee is in his right to move him across. But he is in trouble. Wobbly legs now. A minute left. Emergency from Katuk trying to line the right hand up. Doesn't need to load up on his shots. Just needs to work now. Good, that was a beautiful left knee. A jumping right knee to the head, and the referee comes in and gives him another out. He's going to show some gamesmanship here. This referee will stop it. Katuk jumps on and now it's over. Yeah. And that's what he's going to do. Wearily goes back, tries his left hook and a right hand of his own. Katuk really means business now. He has no rigidity left in his body. No, not at all. No. The referee's going to stop this. Trouble. Superb performance so far. But Rakong's got to find something. Big left hook and a right hand. The referee jumps in. Another standing A count. And this will be it, I believe. Well, from Matt Rakong's corner and justifiably so. A really good performance by Engin Katuk. So, here's some of the shots then. It really was big shots though, Andrew, in the end, wasn't he? Yeah, knees, the punches, I think the punches were what did it. It was always more than one. Right hands, left hooks, good jumping knees as well. And you could tell he was hurt to the body from all the little knees that were landing earlier on in the fight. He was gassed to the body as well, certainly hurt. You can see it here, the combinations. It was never one shot, Vinny. It was always four, five, or six. The last thing you want to be taking is that many punches in a row. He absolutely blitzed him, didn't he? He really did throw a hell of a lot of shots. And Matt Rakong went really, really back to his corner. 